Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and this is Crypto Clarity, the channel where I talk all about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. So in today's video, I will be talking about the big money which is in crypto space. Yes, the big money which is invested by uh, companies like banks or any private firms which are providing investment funds to people around the world and they are giving a lot of uh, exposure to cryptocurrency right now. I will be talking about all about those crypto uh, currencies as well and also um, how these big, uh, big names in the space are working on um, these cryptocurrencies in the back end. And I will tell you how you can uh, have a paradigm shift in this space because a lot of people are still skeptical about cryptocurrencies and blockchain as a technology but we need to understand that it is a technology and um, it is going to change the way we use money in the future. So let's get right into it. Just before moving forward guys, I would like to mention that I am not a financial advisor and on this channel I create only edu educational and uh, entertainment purpose videos only so that you can better understand cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. If you are really starting out in this space, I would really recommend my basics of cryptocurrency playlist which I have uh, linked in the description below. You can um, see it in your own time if you have you know um, some questions about it those videos uh, may answer them because i've tried to keep it as simple in the layman uh, language because you know um, everyone is not so technical so i want to keep uh, that in my mind while making these videos i come from a technological background and i work in it but i don't want to pose those terms in um, you know everyone's face so that um, everyone understand this easily and you know i give value to everyone uh, coming to my videos also guys i i would really appreciate uh, you liking and subscribing to my channel which will help in um, youtube algorithm to understand that my videos are uh, you know liked by people that way i will be you know really happy and um, my effort would be really appreciated um, so i will just start with the topic of the day let's get right into it so first of all, before starting anything, I want to show you uh, this chart that I'm looking at. Um, it's specifically for Bitcoin treasuries uh, from the website bitcoinworldwide.com. Uh, I will link it in the description below. And it says um, all the information about different countries, public companies and ETFs, which are exchange traded funds. So it tells you all about the number of Bitcoins um, they have in their repository and the percentage out of 21 million. So you can see that here ETFs have around 816,379 Bitcoins and their percentage is 3.888% out of the 21 million supply of it. And their total value is around 39 billion, 89 million and six ninety six thousand dollars so that's a huge amount of money etfs are holding then there are different countries which hold two hundred sixty thousand six thirty six and so on so you can see there's a breakdown of this um this is only bitcoin guys uh, it's not the whole crypto market so whole crypto market is uh double the size of this and we have to um go to a different dashboard for that but i will start with bitcoin because you know this is the biggest and the most dominant cryptocurrency in the market still and that's there is an obvious reason for that bitcoin is like the gold of cryptocurrency and as you can see microstrategy tesla these are the public companies who own bitcoin MicroStrategy, they have been heavily investing and they have around 114,000 Bitcoins. There is Square, the owner of Twitter, Jack Dorsey's company, he has around 8,000. Then there is Galaxy Digital Holdings. They are a mining company. They want to um, create the biggest mining 
in Northern America. And then there is Voyager Digital, which are Canada based. So heaps of the company in there. Um, I will link them in the description below. You can see the countries who own it as well. Bulgaria, they own 213,519, which is a big number. Ukraine, El Salvador, Georgia, and so on. So that's one of the things here. Then there are different ETFs like Grayscale. I will mention that in the video next up as well. Grayscale have 654,600 Bitcoins, which is around 3% of the 20 mil 21 million supply, which is a huge number. So this farm is a back, uh, is backing Bitcoin and providing its investor with Bitcoin exposure who doesn't, who don't want direct investment in Bitcoin. So they go through GBTC, uh, which is their um, ETF fund backed by Bitcoin, which is a great number. So first of all, I want to share this article from Forbes.com, which mentions BlackRock. Um, they are a huge investment firm, which have which has one nine point five trillion dollars assets under management. So there are heaps of documentary about them out there, and if you want to know more about them, um, they are you know kind of a company which has the potential to own the whole world because $9.5 trillion is not a small amount. And you can see that they have exposure to cryptocurrencies because of their investment in MicroStrategy as well. MicroStrategy, I will be talking about them as well in the next part, uh, where they have 14.56% stake in MicroStrategy. That's why they are you know, having $3.4 billion of PTC on its balance sheet. This is a huge number. And, you know, if I go to Google and just type in BlackRock, you can see it's an American multinational company made in 1988. They were a part of um, the 2008, you know, market crash where the owner of this company, CEO of this company, Larry Fink, made um, huge adjustment for the market to be okay and not, you know, crash because he has a great background in this space. So the government was um, having his, you know, expertise on, on the board for managing this crisis. And even in the COVID crisis, he was, uh, you know, really important person and also a great advisor for the uh, US government for inflation and every other financial issue that they have been facing. So this is a huge company, which is in this crypto space already. And, you know, we need to understand the weight of their investment in this because uh, a company like BlackRock doesn't go into any um, investment. They go into something which is, you know, um, which has the potential to give them returns and their clients returns in the future. So that's how BlackRock is going to invest in crypto as well and also um, this is going to go up as well you can see in this article that they merged with pnc financial services group in 95 um, blackrock began selling its property technology called aladdin in 1999 they are um, believing believers of technology because that's how they have built this empire so big so there has there was a software named Aladdin, which is um, making their companies, you know, um, risk man management tool and also uh, their clients information more easier to manage and uh, assess for risk. So they are already into technology, so they would know that how big uh, crypto can be. Um, and they were merged with Merrill Lynch investment managers and taking 49% stake in the firm. So you can see there are heaps of um, companies, big names that they are already, um, you know, managing and also have stakes in. So you can see that um, in your own time, if you want something else, just search for BlackRock. You will have a lot of uh, videos about it on YouTube or any other platform because um, they, you know, 
they are covered by many other people more vastly and if you are interested to do that uh, go ahead i will talk about uh, them if you want uh, in a separate video but for this video it should be okay next up is micro strategy who have good amount of bitcoin i would say um the owner michael saylor he is a bitcoin maximalist and in the last couple of years he has you know went all into crypto and especially bitcoin he has around 114042 bitcoin as of now and his company is microstrategy which provides um, data analytics and business intelligence solutions to a big clientele and they are you know already in this space from around 30 years he already was a billionaire before the dot com bubble but uh, he was there in that time as well and now he's understanding that crypto is the future so he is already into this and he has been there for a while so this guy knows what he is investing in so if you see his profile here um, this is another article from forbes which mentions that my strategy disclosed its purchase approximately uh, 309 3907 bitcoins for about 177 million between july 1st and august 23 so um, you can see that he's been accumulating uh, more and more uh, bitcoin for micro strategy he also has it in his personal portfolio which made him a billionaire uh, you can see his total net worth is 2.3 billion um, as of 10th of feb i think it's 2nd of october because it's a us time zone so yeah uh, that is um, 80 million up from 80 million dollars in a day because bitcoin jumped yesterday to around 47000 so yeah you can see that he's been into this space is uh, ceo of business analytics software from micro strategy and yeah uh, you can know more about him he was in mit astronaut and aeronautical studies yeah so this guy knows his stuff his company is into bitcoin he personally is into bitcoin and that's you know not small amount of money that he's investing in uh bitcoin if you see that it holds approximately approximately 108992 bitcoins purchased for slightly more than 2.9 billion dollar on an average price of 26769 for each bitcoin which is really cheap for now you know um looking at the way uh, bitcoin will go in future this will be crazy and yeah um some more stats next up is tesla as we all know elon musk he has been heavily involved in this space and been really vocal about cryptocurrencies bitcoin and you know doge coin stuff like that i'm not a big fan of that but you know he has brought a lot of retail investor in this space because of his uh, personality and how he you know talks as well and he's an intelligent guy he has companies like tesla spacex and you know the revenue for this is 31.54 billion dollars so huge companies um they are into future um you know technologies as well so they understand that they will need any kind of cryptocurrencies in future to you know scale up their businesses which is why um Elon Musk says that he wanted he invested in a lot of bitcoin in like start of this year he was showing he he was showing so much support on twitter and everywhere that he invested 1.5 billion dollar in bitcoin he planned to ex- accept it as payment and after that he you know kind of manipulated the market saying that he won't accept it because of the environmental issues later on there were times when he was found saying and uh, you know buying more cryptocurrencies on uh, tesla's and spacex balance sheet you could see that uh, tesla has around 42902 bitcoins which is around 0.2% of 21 million dollars so yeah you know 
um you need to understand that when people say something that's not always what it means you have to see their actions and you can you know even see their listings and filings for this you can just go to sec.gov website straight away from here and see that they you know registered for bitcoin because every company who you know uses commodities in their business and do any kind of uh, investment they have to uh, go public with it so you know you can see that here and th- different companies can you can see that people are doing that um investment in the end while they are talking bad about cryptocurrencies and later on um, even a couple of days ago he says that uh, it is not possible to destroy crypto and governments should slow down um, on you know regulating it which is something that is really you know understandable because he understand the technology as well and a um, few times he has been uh, manipulating it but obviously the numbers say something else so yeah this shows around um the you know crashing of the price and his tweets were uh, blamed for that because obviously when you have so much influence and um, you go out to say something people think that you know that is the right thing but that's not always the case we have to look behind the curtain what is happening there and see what is you know um, going to happen in the future so yeah that's about it for tesla and yeah their money spending for crypto last but not the least i will cover grayscale bitcoin trust uh, so grayscale they provide an etf which is an exchange traded fund for those of you who don't understand uh, stock market exchange traded funds are like an index of different uh, funds and you know different stocks which you can invest in and you don't have to buy a specific stock you can buy a bunch of them from that specific you know index or exchange traded fund so grayscale provide a bitcoin trust which um, for which they have bought around uh, 654600 bitcoins and um you will buy a gbtc um etf which is going to give you exposure to bitcoin price but you won't directly own it in your inventory um this is for people who are you know uh, skeptical about bitcoin but they still want to get some exposure to it and gbtc um uh, grayscale they provide that kind of um you know investment for people who are you know still um they have a lot of money to spend and also to invest but they want to diversify small chunks of it and also few chunks into bitcoin or different cryptocurrency and grayscale's website will show you that they have you know a huge investment portfolio they are into different cryptocurrencies as well not only bitcoin um they are providing that you know they're letting people know that digital is the future and um they are a leader in that which is you know great way to um get more clients they were established in 2013 and yeah um really diversified they are a brokerage firm so they have different um uh, trust for filecoin as well litecoin and there was another uh yeah there was cardano that they are working with as well so cardano is a big thing in their portfolio as well it was added recently and yeah heaps of money in there as well so that's something we have to understand you can see um what are their holdings as well they own 648k bitcoin they also own a lot of ethereum as well as they provide an ethereum trust and ethereum classic uh, you know a lot of them so you you can see that they won't provide this kind of service to their clientele without doing their research and also understanding that there is some you know future in this kind of technology if this was a scam big companies like this and and another companies like you know and banks especially banks uh if you see this um article it shows you how much banks have invested in this 
you know cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology big banks like standard chartered city bank ubs bnp paribas morgan stanley jp morgan chase this is a big one as they were saying a uh, couple of years ago that you know bitcoin is scam it's for thieves and everything goldman sachs all the big brand names you know they have the money in there and we are being told in the moment that okay this is a scam then why is so much money in this right now you know um that's my question so we have to make that decision we have to understand that you know this is not a joke that is happening right now our whole financial system is changing and you know it's our duty to you know know more about it and take actions for you know a better future for ourselves and our family so that's it for the video guys um, if you liked it do hit the like and subscribe button i would really appreciate any comments any feedback because uh, that's how i will be able to provide you more value in the next videos until then i'll see you next time ciao